So, a lot of you love to be a rude ass and let people hurt their bodies instead of helping them with their bodies. Now you're probably going, what are you talking about? Well, back in the... Well, let me show you the food item that I'm about to talk to you about and what it did to my feet. And I wish I knew about it. And I wish I had someone on the internet that told me what would happen if you eat way too many of these um, taco shells. The nacho cheese flavored taco shells. They're really good. I had three of them. And I thought, oh, they're just like normal taco shells. They'll be okay, blah, blah, blah. No, they're really high in sugar. And not sugar, salt. And it made my feet swell up like a balloon. They swollen up and felt heavy on me. And now I have to wear um, compression socks. I have to wear socks with um, grips on them to air out my feet. You, I found out you can't wear socks 24-7 because you gotta let your feet air out. So I've been doing that. Now I have to live my the rest of my life doing that shit because I decided to eat a lot of salt. If you eat too much salt in chips even, you will get, your feet will start swelling and the only way to get rid of it is compression socks, uh, elevating your feet, epping salt. Um, if your feet start feeling hot, then you have to do Soak them in cold water for 15 minutes, Epsom salt for 20, and warm water if your feet are cold. If, and you have to watch your salt intake and drink a lot, a lot of water and elevate. But don't elevate your feet all the time because then your feet won't get better. You have to up and down, up and down. And I was, and anyways, so on this YouTube video, can't remember who it was, they bought some of those shells, and I said, I just want to warn you and help you out, don't eat too many of those nacho cheese, or you will get swollen feet, like I did when I had too many, trying to help them out, trying to be nice, they didn't answer back, they didn't say anything back, but people that watch the videos and read comments were rude, and they want them to have swollen feet. They want them to have something wrong with their body, so they have something to vlog about, apparently, because when I let them know to be helpful, uh, they took it as me being rude and said, don't tell them what to do. They can eat whatever they want. Don't tell them what they shouldn't and shouldn't eat. Don't tell them what they can and can't eat. They can eat whatever they want and they can eat as much as they want. Oh, so you want them to have swollen feet too. That's what I said. I said, oh, so you wanted me not to, not to help them out and not tell them about getting swollen feet if they eat too much of that, of that shell. So, therefore, you're rude ass because you want them to have swollen feet. And another person came on and was like, who gives you the right to tell them what they shouldn't eat? And I said, oh, so you also want them to have swollen feet. Your rude ass. Because I, if I was them, I would love somebody in the comments to help me out and let me know that if I eat too many at once, I will get swollen feet because I don't want to have to deal with swollen feet for the rest of my fucking life because I did that. And like you, I don't want them to ruin their body and hurt their feet. But I guess you guys don't give a shit that 
they live a real ass life and that this isn't fake life. This isn't a TV show. This isn't a fucking movie. And you're thinking, oh, I'm not going to tell them not to eat too much of the nacho cheese shell because I want them to get swollen feet because then they'll have something to vlog about all the time. They they can bitch and complain about swollen feet and they can teach us like what to do if you have a swollen feet, what to not to do when you have swollen feet, what to wear, you know, how to fix your swollen feet. They can just tell us everything. Because when you have swollen feet, you can't have no fry food. You can't have no salt intake. You have to watch what you eat. And then in three days, two to three days, the swelling will go down. And it's a battle because... So, so if you don't want swollen feet again, you, when you eat chips, you have to eat just a little at a time. You can't eat a whole lot like you used to. And you can't eat a lot of fried foods like you used to. I have to give up fried food. I have to give up fries. Because that's the number one intake for salt. Because you put a lot of salt on your fries to eat it. So a lot of people do. I know I do at work because they taste like shit if you don't. So, yeah. I said, so then I said at the end, I said, don't be rude, be helpful. Like, I don't care if it will make good video content, if they have swollen feet, so we can learn something. No, you don't want them to have it. They can vlog about something else. They don't need to be vlogging about their swollen feet because they ate too much of the nacho cheese. And now they're at the doctors all the time trying to figure out why they keep getting swollen feet. Because they didn't know that nacho cheese will give you swollen feet because that's high in sugar, high in salt. Because you can't do chips and that's just not. I wish people would believe me because nobody believes me unless a YouTuber or a famous person says it's true. Or Facebook says it's true. It's true. Because everyone believes everything they read on the internet. They believe everything that Facebook says even though Facebook is full of lies and fake information. And if I have to, I'll, I will fucking tell them assholes. Google it. It's the truth of what I'm saying. And those shows do do that because it did it to me. Why would I lie about it? And I'm not telling them what they should and shouldn't, what they should and shouldn't eat. I'm not telling them don't eat it. I'm not telling them how much they should or shouldn't eat. I'm saying don't eat too much because if you eat a lot, this is what could happen. So therefore, I'm not saying don't eat them. There, and I'm not saying, you know, don't eat a whole bunch. I mean, you can have like one or two and be just fine. Just don't have three because it will mess up your, it'll give you swollen feet. Or if you eat, want to eat three, then make sure you have some water with you to dr drink with it so that you don't get swollen feet. Like, don't be an asshole. And get, and, and let bad things happen to them just because you think it'd be good vlogging content for their channel. Fuck what's good for their channel. They're real people, real lives. And don't want to spend tons and tons of money on fixing something that they could avoid if we were helpful and told them about it. If someone told me that in a comment when I talked about a certain food item and said, hey, if you eat too much, this is what will happen, I would be like, thank you. Thank you for being helpful and telling me that and not thinking it's good blogging content and being rude and not telling me. So it happens to me. I don't want people going through what I'm going through. Anyways, I'm gonna get going. I will talk to y'all later. Later haters. Haters make me think.